What's going on guys, it's your boy JR here back with another tech video. And today's video, we're gonna be talking a little bit about this Apple event that's coming up in the next couple days. Actually, I'm very, very excited about it and I know you are too. So we have some updates here from a couple of uh, Twitter users here who have updated us about what the Apple Watch Series 8 is going to look like. So we're just going to take a look at a couple photos here and just to see, you know, it always happens like a few days right before the event that uh, people, you know, just crazy leaks. Everything just starts flooding the, the, the streams and you just see all kinds of stuff. So there's almost no surprise. If you don't want to be surprised, you watch this video. If you do want to be surprised, you probably don't want to watch this video. But by, by now, if you're watching this video, you've probably seen other videos that are just leaking all kinds of stuff. But the iPhone 14, the watch, uh, the AirPods Pro 2 that are coming out. And you know, we're just trying to find out as much information as we can. But for this video right here, we have a couple leaks about the Apple Watch Series 8. So we have some cases here. Uh, this is from Twitter user at Duanri205. I don't wanna mess it up. Hopefully I'm, I'm getting that right. But regardless, we have some outer cases here that looks like it could be for the Pro model uh, that Series 8 that's gonna be coming out uh, later this week. So let's say we got a clear here, we got a silver. That looks like a rose gold. I'm not exactly sure what that color could be. Maybe a white, I don't know. And we got like a blue and then a black. Uh, and it doesn't, you know, that doesn't look too bad to be honest. I mean, this, you know, normal colors that probably expected, but the thing that stands out the most is right here around the, um, right here around the, the push, the, the button that we use to push to, to go back home and the rotating uh, bezel on the side how it kind of protrudes out compared to the six and the seven whichever model you may have uh and also the fact that the screen is a, looks like it's actually elevated a little bit more so not quite sure you know if this is completely accurate or not but i mean as more sources kind of come out we're seeing that this is kind of this could possibly be the final look of the series eight now for me i'm still working on a series six i didn't see the reason to update to a series eight uh i'm sorry to a series seven but i think uh, i'm a firm believer that if you're just you know just want to stay current but not like always get the latest tech every year then you can wait a couple years and you know you can see somewhat of a decent upgrade yeah so I mean, that's something to take into consideration. But the next thing that we have here is a couple more CADS images of basically, I guess, the, the, uh, the, the pro model of the S8 series. So if you look at these CADS right here, man, I don't, I'm not sure this, the, and this is coming from uh, Ian Zelbo on Twitter. Um, I'm wondering if this could be like the real design. This like could be the real thing. You know what I'm saying? As far as the, how the pro is going to look y'all let me know in the comments man what y'all think about this i'm honestly not sure how i feel about it this is kind of recent you know with these leaks and everything and if this turns out to be the pro model which i'll be honest guys i'm kind of 99 percent sure that this is probably how the pro model is going to look uh i'm not really too excited about it to be honest with you but i mean you let me know in the comments how you feel about it and I think that, um, yeah, it looks really, I don't know. It's kind of got a retro look to it, to be honest with you. It's cause it's, it looks almost like a, the, it, almost like a fishbowl look, you know, with the way the screen is kind of popping up on the top. Uh, but I mean, we'll see once Apple actually releases it and everything. So the last thing that we have here is from nine to five Mac, where they're saying that the new button could be programmable so that user can set different actions for it such as specific apps or starting a workout which is really really big with the apple watch community it's something that I'm, i always look forward to and uh I, i'll be honest with you man like i said i still i'm still not quite sure i'm sold on this you know just like the the new recent leak as far as you know the, the hole punch or the, the the pill pill looking display on the iphone 14. i gotta reprogram my thinking now because i kind of got used to seeing that the eye punch now i gotta use got now i gotta get used to seeing the extended long pill 
which I mean it is what it is if that's the case then that's fine so but as far as the uh, series 8 pro if this is the design are you willing to spend a thousand bucks which is what is rumored to cost if it looks this way and what type of features would it have to have in order for you to actually pay that much for it there's also a, a, a another last minute rumor that was reported on 9 to 5 mac that apple will announce another watch model that's cheaper than the apple watch sc that's aimed for children and teenagers uh, perhaps the company has plans to keep the first generation apple sc and even a cheaper alternative so the event is going to be taking place on wednesday the 7th i'm looking forward to seeing everything they're going to offer let's see we have the iphone we have the apple watch series 8 airpods pro 2 and a brand new watch apple watch pro so that's geared toward extreme sports i really hope it doesn't look like it's like these cats but i mean it, it's kind of late in the game y'all to, to to not think that it's true so it could possibly be true but anyway let me know in the comments what you think about it hit the like button if you like the video please subscribe if you haven't already for more news and updates on all these things apple and samsung and i hope y'all enjoy your day let's get ready for this apple event Till next time peace